Okay, this week we're going to talk about the peripheral nervous system. Last week we talked about the central nervous system, which involves the brain and spinal cord. And this week we're going to be talking about the nerves that branch out of the brain, the nervous system, that includes the nerves that branch out of the brain, which are the cranial nerves, and the 31 pairs of nerves that branch out between each of the vertebrae going down the spine. And so that those two types of nerves are called are parts of the somatic nervous system. Now the somatic nervous system has two components as well. It has the sensory nervous system and the sensory nervous system is nerves that bring information to the central nervous system. So they are called afferent nerves and we have them up in the cranial nerves as well and those are called the sensory nerves. So that would be the somatic sensory nervous system. And then um, the other group of somatic nerves is the motor nervous system, so somatic motor. And those are the nerves that um, send information away from the brain and they're called efferent nerves. And the way I remember efferent is because they always go to effectors, things that do things like muscles. Okay, and that's also why it's called the motor nervous group. Now everything in the somatic system um, involves things that we're aware of or conscious of. So sort of conscious movement, um, you know, parts of our sensory system that we are aware of. Now the other branch of the nervous system is the autonomic. and these are things that sort of happen below our awareness and there's two branches there as well there is the sympathetic and this directs you know sort of our stress response or fight or flight and it's interesting because most of the sympathetic nerves actually um, live in this what's called the sympathetic chain on the outside of the spinal cord as ganglion which are ganglion are um, little bundles of nerve bodies with axons branching out of them that are outside of the spinal cord okay so of course the spinal cord is actually f filled with tons and tons of nerve bodies You know, and um, the somatic, the motor nervous system actually starts with um, its nerve bodies inside the spinal cord and then it moves out. And the sympathetic nervous system, on the other hand, um, has the their nerve soma in these little ganglia existing outside the spinal cord. Now, there are neurites, there are axons that connect that move towards the spine and there are axons that move away from the spine so it is you know well connected with the spinal cord going all the way down okay and then the other branch of the autonomic nervous system is the parasympathetic now the parasympathetic is sort of you know the the opposing twin of the sympathetic instead of um, you know it, instead of the stress or fight or flight response it's you know sort of control of um, you know things that happen when our bodies relaxed like digestion it has to do with um, you know defecation micturition um, and emotions like you know emotional expressions like tearing um, things like that.